Hi my honeys, welcome back to my canal. So for today's video, I wanted to do a, it's kind of like a fox eye um, bronzy um, smoked out liner type of look. <laughs> I've been craving to do a smoked out liner for like the longest. Um, to Also, to be honest, um, they are the most challenging for me. Um, even though I've been doing makeup for over 10 years, um, it can still sometimes be a challenge, especially if you're doing black. Um, I normally always just do like a smoked out brown liner on clients, um, but sometimes when they do want black, I do, you know, get a little nervous, but at the same time, I still nail it. Um, it just takes time, patience, and some extra sweat. <laughs> so hopefully my technique that I'm going to be showing you guys today um, helps some of you guys out. If you are trying to recreate today's eyeshadow look, without further ado, you guys, before we do get started, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, click the little notification bell, which does notify you every time that I upload a new video here on on YouTube. Los quiero mucho and let's go ahead and get started. So I did zoom you guys in just a little bit. I'm gonna go into the Supreme Nudes Artist Couture Palette. Uh, if you guys have not seen me do a tutorial with this palette, I have already done a few. Um, definitely go check those videos out. Um, so here's the palette. Mine's a little bit dirty because I do use it a lot, like literally a lot. I think it's a perfect nude palette. Perfect palette to also create nice bronzy eyeshadow looks. And you can create anything from very soft and natural for an everyday eyeshadow look to something really dramatic for like those Friday, Saturday nights. Um, so I absolutely love this palette. And I think they already restocked this again on artistcouture.com, which you already know the drill. I will link everything that I did use in today's video down in the little description box. Um, so that is the palette I'm gonna use. Um, so I went ahead and already did my eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Precising My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. Um, and then for the brush today, I'm gonna go into Morphe M433, as per usual. And we're gonna use this to apply our transition color, our transition color. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Nudist, which is right here. And we're just gonna place those, you guys, right in the crease, but I'm gonna take it a little bit higher than usual. So I'm just gonna take it up right here towards below the brow bone. So we're going a little bit lower right here and then going up, touching, um, just applying it really close to the, not too close to the eyebrow, but just like right here. So that way we can bring this down and contour our nose once we are um, ready for that step. For the main eyeshadows, you guys, I really want to keep this very, very soft and very, um, like, all matte. I'm not going to use any shimmers today, but I want it to look super subtle and very natural because the main, you know, the star of the show is definitely the smoked out liner. Um, so definitely keep this very minimalistic um, and just super, super soft. But of course, this is up to you. You can definitely um, do it however your little heart pleases. You can add shimmer if you want to as well. It would still look really pretty. But me personally for today, I just want this to look very soft and matte. Going into my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to be picking up the shade called Expose. And we're going to use this for the main um, lid space right here. I'm just going to place this right in here. I do take it into the, um, what is this, highlight area, inner corner. <laughs> And then don't worry, we will blend this out again with the other color that we used earlier. And now we just want to place this bone shade. That's why I love this palette, you guys, because it has this nice um, bone color. Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish you guys can see this in person. Um, it's just a really nice, pretty, soft matte shade. So pretty. Love it. Okay, guys, so now I'm just going back into the shade called Nudist, and I am dipping into a little bit of Transcend, Transcend, which is this shade right here. And what we're going to do, you guys, is place it just really close right here again, just to define this a little bit better um, and make it more noticeable. Um, so that way you can tell that it's like a cut crease, kind of without using concealer to actually cut the crease. You can definitely use concealer if you want to. I just want this to be like this. We're gonna go into the shade called Aesthetic, which is this shade right here. And I am also gonna be picking up a little bit of Transcend. And what we're gonna do, you guys, is start to create the wings. It starts to smoke this outer corner out. Now, um, you can also apply a tape. If you have tape, definitely do that. I unfortunately don't have any, so I literally have to wing it and hopefully it comes out good. So 
I'm praying to Jesus right now that this comes out really nice for you guys. So the key thing is here, you guys, is to keep it really close to the lash line. And I'm not taking it all the way towards the inner corner. We're literally just going to focus it towards the outer corner only. Um, that's where we want the wing to be. So just keep it right here. And now I'm going to go into the shade called Mink, which is the um, darker brown from the palette. And we're going to do the exact same thing and just apply it really close to the um, top lash line. For the brush today, you guys, I'm using the Small Detailed Blending Brush by Morphe. It came in a purple set that came out a while ago. I don't know if it's still um, back in stock because I believe the set was like only $8 at the time. Um, but I will definitely check and list it down below for you guys if they still have it. Okay, you guys, so now that we laid that, that down, now it's time to apply the brown again. So we're going to go back into Aesthetic and a little bit of Transcend. And we're going to go ahead and just blend right on top of it. So that way it all looks smooth because we want to prepare it for the black eyeshadow that we're going to apply next. Uh, we are going to switch brushes in just a second. Next, you guys, I'm going to go into this pencil brush from Be Bella. This is the NG342, and I'm picking up a little bit of the black, um, which is called Temptress, right? Yeah, Temptress from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette volume 2. And I'm just going to dust off some of that product. And what we're going to do, you guys, is try to apply it as close to the lash line as possible. We're not trying to go up too high because we don't want to hide the brown that we just placed. Going back to that Morphe brush, you guys, I'm going to picking up the shade called Mink one more time. That dark brown from the Artist Couture palette. And then just blend this out so that way it looks smoked out and you can't see where the black eyeshadow starts and stops. Okay, so I did this eye off camera because I didn't know where I was kind of going with the lower lash line. Um, so I'm going to keep it very, very um, on the smoky side. Um, you definitely don't have to take it in all the way like I did on this eye. Um, but I definitely want to make it look more on the catty eye. Um, again, you can, to you can totally skip out on that step um, and maybe just take it all the way, um, maybe just leave it like this and then just apply your falsy and then just leave the under eye bare. But for today, I'm really digging this like really smoked out look, like super catty. Oh my god, you fix this. I'm just getting attached to my bottom lashes. So I'm going to go into the Morphe eyeliner. This is in the shade Jet, but it's just black. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go ahead and use this brush from B Bella. It's the NG354 brush. Okay, so literally I'm just going to pick up some product like this. And then what we're going to do is get it really close to the lash line. And you want to get it super, super close. So it's going to be like you're creating another wing. And then we will smoke it out in just a second with black. And then you want to take it in all the way into the inner corner. And start to create that fox eye look, that smoky catty eye. Um, so I love this eyeliner brush. A lot of eyeliner brushes are normally designed like this already. But I like to use the tip of the brush to start to create that nice cat eye look. Um, you definitely don't have to do this if you guys don't want it to look too catty and too fox eye. Um, it's definitely the new trend that's going around on Instagram. Um, but I felt like it just looked perfect. And I love a nice dark smoky eye. So then with the rest of the gel liner, I'm going to take it all the way towards my lower lash line and connect it towards the outer corner. And now going back to that small little pencil brush by B Bella, we're going to be picking up the shade Mink, which is that dark brown in the Artist Couture palette. And we're just going to buff this out first and then we'll go in with the black. Now for the lower lash line, you guys, I'm going to go back into that mink brown shade and just blend this out. And I'm using the Bibella NG352 brush. And don't worry about the fallout because we will pick it up in just a second. For my waterline, I'm going to go into this Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Black Market. And it is a waterproof um, eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie line my eye and then my waterline. And of course, clean up the fallout. <laughs> I know we look super crazy right now. And what I like to do, you guys, is pull the eyeliner out. 
like that. And then for lashes today, you guys, I'm using this pair right here. Um, it just goes shorter from the inner corners and then longer towards the outer corners. So that way it really extends the eyeliner and it makes it look twice as more catty. Um, I don't remember the brand on what lashes these are. I'm so sorry. I know you guys must hate me because I never have the lash name of the lashes that I use sometimes. So my apologies. Um, but if I find them, I'll link them down below. But if not, just find a pair that is a little bit shorter in the inner corners and then longer towards the um, outer corners. And then for mascara, I'm gonna go into the um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. All right, you guys, so I just finished off the eyes and now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my complexion off camera. Again, it's the same steps like I've always used, so I don't wanna bore you too much. Um, and then I will finish off um, the eyes with you at the end, as well as apply the lip with you guys. So definitely pause this video if you are following along, definitely, you know, take this time to make some final adjustments or also take this time to do your complexion. And yeah, with that said, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I just finished off my face. Uh, don't mind my nude lips. I know they look really, really crusty, but we're going to slap on a lip color in just a second. Um, we're going to go back to the eyes. I'm just going to bronze up the lower lash line. So I'm going to go into my Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade of 200. And I'm just going to take the MAC um, 217. I'm going to use this one to pick up some of the bronzer. And what we're going to do is just apply it towards the lower lash line down here just to smoke this out and just make it look a lot bronzier and now i'm just going to go back into the um, benefit um, bad gal bang mascara and apply some towards the lower lashes for lips today i'm going to go into the usual <laughs> i swear i'm gonna switch it up one day <laughs> this is the morphe sweet tea lip pencil and i absolutely love this one you can definitely you guys um use your makeup wipe to remove the foundation if that bugs you for me personally it does not bug me i actually like when i have some foundation on there i feel like the lip color um como que resalta un poquito más um i don't know maybe that's just me in my head but <laughs> i like it so i'm gonna go ahead and start to outline my lips for the lipstick today i am switching it up surprise surprise <laughs> i know that i always use maybelline's 55 driver or i use the mario he's a mixer um but we're still gonna use kkw beauty products of course but i'm gonna go in to the shade 3.5 nude um and it's just um i believe this is her her satin lipstick so they're not completely completely matte All right, my honeys, so that is it for today's um, eyeshadow tutorial. Sorry I did not incorporate my skin. It really hasn't changed. Um, definitely check out my previous videos that I have here on YouTube, which does, um, I did incorporate my um, skin routine when it comes to foundation, concealer, and all that good stuff. Um, but today I mainly wanna just focus on the eyes. Um, I love it. I love smoky eyes like this. I love a nice like matte nude lid. And then just the star of the show is definitely the liner and the lashes. Um, if you guys want to keep your eyes looking really catty, like I said, just use a eyelash that's smaller from the inner corner and then it flares out towards the outer corners. Um, you can definitely switch up the lip color as well. You can do a red if you want to be very adventurous or just something soft and nude, which is normally what I like to do when I do have a smoked out liner or smoky eyes. I, like, I love to keep the lips super, super neutral and soft. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you did recreate this and you were tagging along, please let me know um, how I did. I always want to hear feedback on how I'm teaching you guys and hopefully I'm explaining the steps correctly for you guys to also follow and do this tutorial at home. I love you so much. Besitos, cuídense mucho, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.